As I mentioned in the first video, we're going to be covering every aspect of sampling in Reason, but before we get into it, I wanted to give you a quick overview of what's actually new in the application and how sampling generally works. So the first thing you're really going to notice is up here on the hardware interface, we've got a sampling input section. We've got two monitor buttons, a monitor level, and also a small level meter, which is exactly the same as the audio inputs and outputs you're used to. Now, if we flip the rack, on the corresponding space on the back of the audio input section, we've got a red sampling input area. Now you can see I've already got something plugged into it, but you can see they're basically the same jack sockets as everything else in Reason. So you can send anything you like from any device or any audio stream you like to these sampling inputs. You can even send outputs and inputs from your audio card to the sampling input. At the minute, I've got auxiliary one and two from this mixer sent to them. And if we flip the rack background, currently we're gonna get no input. But if I send some of this auxiliary one, you can see we're getting sampling input. Now, I don't wanna use the monitor modes because then we'll hear the signal twice because we're already listening to it through the mixer. But I'll explain how these work in later videos. So if I move down to this fresh NN19 sampler here, you'll notice a new little button. And this is actually the sampling button. If you float over it, it says start sampling. And if I just hit that and start to play, we've actually recorded our first sample. Now, if I select this new sampler, I can play it back. And it really is that easy to sample your own sounds. Obviously, there's a lot more to sampling in Reason, and we're gonna get into the very fine details, but before we do that, we're gonna look at routing and levels in the first section of this tutorial. This will really concentrate on those sampling inputs and how to get your audio into them and how to record your samples at the correct level so that you get the best results.